What's up guys? Just wanted to make a super, super quick short video. Sorry about the creaking of my chair. Sorry about my rough look. It's That's neither here nor there. Uh, I just went through something extremely frustrating. Um, I just updated my system to the, I believe it's the 8.52 update for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I was, I believe my system was in the middle of the update. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened. I think the file got corrupted. Um, long story short, um, it was corrupted. So it didn't allow me to access my PlayStation at all. Every time I cut it on, it gave me a brief message about um, I need more space to uh, update my system to 8.52 or better or greater. Um, so I was worried that maybe I, I completely tapped out my external hard drive, which is one terabyte. Um, long story short, I ended up checking it later and it has 500 gigs left. Um, so I don't understand what the problem was with that. So actually I knew that's when I knew it was corrupted. Uh, I had a buddy of mine, Ars Poetic and SMD both helped me out, um, troubleshooting this entire ordeal. Uh, it was a headache. I was worried at first. Um, obviously you don't want the blue ring of death or whatever, have your system, you know, tap out. Um, that's not the ultimate goal. I'm going to try to keep this video super short. So um, it's not really a video I do. I don't like to do vlogs too much and show my face, but whatever, um, at least in a vlog style. Um, but yeah, so basically what happened was I would log in, it would give me that prompt. Uh, I did it up multiple times, unplugged it, left it alone for 10 minutes, nothing. Um, unplugged the hard drive, nothing. Um, I even went ahead and went to PlayStation and it told me, it prompted me to go to playstation.com and download the, the update onto a thumb drive, onto a, uh, 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 um, I can't remember the other word for it, but a thumb drive and then put it into your system. Uh, and that didn't work. So that being said, I ended up, um, resorting to safe mode, uh, trying to update it that way with the thumb drive didn't work. Tried to do it with the internet didn't work. Um, so I've exhausted at this point, almost one steps, one through five, I think, or one through six, there's eight steps, um, in the safe mode menu. Um, and then eventually Ars Poetic and SMD, both good friends of mine, um, ended up, um, helping me come to the conclusion that it was corrupted. The, the update somehow got corrupted. Um, but if you see that and you're stuck in a safe mode loop or a loop to where it shows that, um, you can't. Uh, update your system because you have you don't have enough space if it does this unfortunately we figured out that we have to do step seven which is i wrote it down is to um reinitialize the playstation 4 unfortunately which means that it's going to wipe your i believe your home screen and stuff like that all your data away and start over fresh brand new basically do not panic if you Make sure, well, there's no re real way to really do it unless you've already done it. Um, but at this point, if you have not had your system um, automatically upload to like the cloud server or the uh, online game data, save data, online storage, you're kind of screwed at this point, which unfortunately, um, or fortunately, I, I must have done some way. I believe it's defaulted to be selected just in case if you're watching this. Make sure you have that to automatic. I believe it's in the setting somewhere under save data. Make sure that's checked to be on and automatically go so that every time, you know, it's transferred to like the cloud or or the storage, online storage, that way your save data and everything else is there. Thankfully, there was a happy ending to this story. Um, both uh, both of, of, of Ezra and um, Ars Poetic and um, SMD helped me walk me through it. I ended up being able to retrieve almost all of my stuff. Um, the only bummer about it is, is if you have it in the saved data, you're good to go. Um, you just re-download what games uh, obviously were deleted off the main interface. Um, as far as like those saved games, they're still there. Um, if you have an external hard drive, which I do have the one terabyte, um, all the games and stuff that were on there stay on there. In my situation, I forgot to upload actual, the full Call of Duty game. I did that on my actual system. So now I have to re-download that, but all my data stays on the server. So I'm good with that. Um, my themes stayed there. So I'm pretty happy about that. But basically, in a nutshell, you do not want to panic. Um, most likely, though, if the thumb drive thing, they walk you through it on the PlayStation.com um, website. 
if you if that does not work and you troubleshoot it that way, the unfortunate thing you might have to do is go to step seven, which is reinitialize the PS4. I tried to do number eight, or I don't know if I got a mix. I think it's step eight or step seven that is reinitialize PS4 and basically get rid of the update. It says like scrap the update or whatever. I tried that and it gave me an error code. So if that happens to you where you try the, I think it's like reinitialize PS4 um, and then in parentheses, it says something about the, like get rid of the update, the newest update or something. If that doesn't work, you get the error code. I think it's like S something or C something. Just go ahead and do number seven. Just reinitialize the entire PlayStation 4. Um, but I mean, there's really no real way to see if you ba uh, 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 um, uploaded to the save data online storage um, unless you've been doing it. But like I said, this is a warning. Please make sure you do that. Um, but yeah, I was l one of the lucky ones. But this is a kind of fix video to help you out. Um, I say don't waste no time on it. If you know that your data is backed up, just run with it. Just go ahead and just pull the plug, hit step seven and, and just get started on re-downloading everything. I recommend using a LAN cable. That helps make it speed up depending on your internet a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the only thing is time, time consuming other than the fact that you're going to be sitting there trying to figure out what's going on. Just avoid all that. Like I said, they give you step by step on the PlayStation Network or playstation.com website. So just follow those steps with the thumb drive. Hopefully that helps you. If not, step seven is your best friend and fingers crossed you have your data backed up. So uh, thank you guys for watching a quick video. Um, stay tuned. We're gonna have more videos cranked out. Battlefield's coming out pretty soon. Um, right now we're kind of in between Battlefield 5, Modern Warfare, and I don't know, let's, let's just say PUBG or Tekken, one of the two. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the subscribers. Catch you guys later. Peace.